its 70B spacecraft to orbit. Built by Astrium, the Eurostar 3000 series spacecraft will provide total satellite power capability of 12 kilowatts throughout the design orbital service life of 15 years. The spacecraft's 48 KU payload will provide uninterrupted service and additional capacity and capabilities to Eutelsat customers from Europe, Africa, Central Asia, and Southeast Asia, reaching as far as Australia. At seven minutes and counting, all systems are looking good for an on-time liftoff at 20, 4325 UTC GMT. Let's take a look at today's flight profile. From its ocean-based launch arm, located directly on the equator at 154 degrees west longitude, a Zenit 3SL launch vehicle will lift the Utilsat 70B spacecraft into an optimized geosynchronous transfer orbit on its way to its final geostationary orbit at 70.5 degrees east longitude over the Indian Ocean. The Zenit 3SL rocket will begin its ascent phase of flight at approximately 2355 UTC. The first stage of the vehicle will then separate 2 minutes 30 seconds after liftoff, and the protective payload fairing will be jettisoned 79 seconds later at L plus 3 minutes 49 seconds. The second stage will conduct a 4 minute 42 second burn, followed by its separation from the Block DMSL upper stage. The Block DMSL will then begin its first burn at 8 minutes 31 seconds into the mission for a little over five minutes. The upper stage will then shut down for an almost 36 minute coast period before initiating its second six minute and 15 second burn. The spacecraft will next enter another nine minute 50 second coast prior to spacecraft separation at L plus one hour and six minutes over the Indian Ocean. That's our flight plan for today's launch. We are now four minutes 49 seconds to lift up and, and counting. The team in the Launch Control Center is making final reviews at this time. The Launch Control Center is located on the Sea Launch Commander, now safely positioned nearly four miles from the launch platform. The platform was evacuated be before filming operations began a few hours ago, and all personnel are aboard the ship for the remainder of launch operations. The launch team is progressing through the final countdown procedure, monitoring telemetry from the launch vehicle and the spacecraft to ensure all critical systems are nominal for launch. They're also keeping an eye on both of the vessels, as well as the launch range, to be sure all conditions are within our launch criteria. The marine crews verify and hold the relative headings of the vessels to maintain exact orientation. Our meteorologists monitor sea conditions in real time using satellite and onboard data, and the launch team monitors the winds aloft by releasing weather balloons at designated intervals prior to liftoff. I want to take this opportunity to extend a very warm welcome to Eutelsat and their guests and customers gathered at their headquarter offices in Paris, as well as our friends at EADS Astrium in Toulouse, our colleagues and suppliers in Moscow, the Ukraine, and Seattle, and the Sea Launch and Energia Logistics employees gathered here at Homeport and in Bern, Switzerland, to view our mission coverage. And welcome to all of our viewers who are joining our live event feed for our simultaneous webcast at www.c-launch.com. We're coming up on a three-minute countdown status, so we'll listen in to the Launch Control Center. And DSO1. Director, we see Go ahead. So you is on internal power and is go for launch. Is ready to go for launch. Принято готовность к пуску. BPG. MD Club is ready to uh, fill you for launch. MD, MOC. 
As I'm reading. Dr. Valeri Alif, our mission director for today's flight, confirms all systems are go for launch as the automated countdown continues. The weather for today's mission is good, and at this time, all environmental conditions continue to be within launch criteria. Our current temperature is 81 degrees, with seas running 6.5 feet from the east and winds at 6 knots. All mission milestones are proceeding on schedule. The teams from Sea Launch, Eutelsat, and Astrium are making their final assessments of launch status before the terminal count begins. L minus one minute and counting. We are go for launch of the Eutelsat 70B satellite. Stand by for the terminal count, which you will hear in Russian and English. Последние секунды при стартовом отчета. Lift off command has been acquired. Our stabilization is nominal. Propulsion system performance is nominal. Flight is nominal. RV stabilization is nominal. RV is now transonic. Director Missy RRS, на связи. Точное время КП 20 часов 43 минуты 59 и 237 тысячных секунды по Гринвичу. Принято. Контакт лифт. Лифт офф occurred at 20 hours 43 minutes 59 decimal 237 seconds UTC. Propulsion system performance is nominal. Contact lift off time was two zero four three five nine decimal two three seven UTC. Flight is nominal. ILV motion is stable. Begin engine throttling. Flight is nominal. ILV stabilization is nominal. Final sequence of throttling. Flight is nominal. Second stage veneer engine ignition. First stage engine shutdown. First stage separation. Second stage main engine ignition command is issued.
Main engine nominal fuel up. ILV stabilization is nominal. Pressure in main engine and vernier engine is nominal. Coordinator of Morsky Operations, Director Mission, MSC, this is Zadim. Flight is nominal. MSC, this is Zadim. The third flight inspection is the platform. Main air inspection of the Zadim. Roger. Ilv motion is stable. ILV stabilization is nominal. ILV flight is nominal. TLF jettison coming to send. Bearing separation brake wires are confirmed. Pressure and main engine and vernier engine is nominal. Brewster ground station confirmed receipt of block DM and PLU telemetry. Moscow control center and ACS confirm receipt of TGS block DM telemetry. All the flight is nominal. Pressure and main engine and vernier engine is nominal.